Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen stuff. Today I wanted to talk about, very briefly, the shields in the store. There are currently 8 shields available in the Rec and VD stores, 2 for each of the sizes 1 to 4. They come in 2 flavours, Ink Mark and Ink Splash. The Ink Mark are more effective at taking direct hits from laser and ballistic fire, but less effective against missiles, splash damage or area damage. Whereas the Ink Splash are more effective against the missiles and splash damage, but weaker against direct hits from the laser and ballistic fire. Pretty much all the shields available in the store are an improvement to the stock ones given to you. The size 2 and 3 Hornet shields are okay against everything with no particular weaknesses, so if you prefer that, then stick with those. But these ships, as with most, you can actually get a bigger size of shield for your ship, and it is worth it. The size 1 ship shields from the store have 300 HP, 600 HP at size 2, 900 HP at size 3, and 1200 HP at size 4. Compare that to the size 1 stock shields that the Auroras and most of the Mustangs share, which is only 200 HP. With the addition of Wreck, it is now in almost every situation worth purchasing the largest store shield your ship can take. I prefer the Mark shields as most of my deaths are from direct hits. Wreck cost wise, they range from 800 for the size 1 shields all the way up to 1500 for the most expensive size 4. So they're not going to break the bank, it's definitely worth the cost in Wreck. There are other stats going on with the shields, like a regen amount and a regen time and, and heat and power and lots of stuff going on with them. So we will take an in-depth look at all the shields once they've gone through their design overhaul. They're doing re redesigning the sizes for stuff. Um, at the moment, just grab the max size your ship can take. It is worth the wreck. But only if you're playing Arena Commander at the moment. Otherwise, you're just wasting wreck on something you're not going to be using. So, one of the other things you can do if you don't want to spend the wreck for some reason, is you can grab the shields out of, if you've got spare hornets or super hornets, you've got the size 2 shield or the size 3 shield there. Now those shields are balanced against everything, they've got no particular strengths or weaknesses, so um, it can be worth like grabbing your uh, super hornet shield if you've got a super hornet and jamming it in your 325A, because um, that gives it a good balance and there's no point in spending the wreck when you've got a quite nice shield like that. But that's pretty much the only kind of thing. I mean, the same as goes with the Tornets there. They've got very nice size 2 shields that are good against everything. So if you want to put that in something that can only take a maximum size 2, that's a good idea as well. Anyway, guys, I hope that was informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me. And I'll see you in the verse. Or at least next time when we have a more in-depth look at shields.